Beloved, this is my last child. You know what that means to me? Yeah. I will do anything within my power to see that she gets back on her feet. Chai, that girl will kill you one day. You should mistake your head for calm. I don't know. What was her reaction after she discovered she wanted to kill you? I'm a very generous person. The first thing my generosity for people is. Can you imagine that the contract that was offered to Mr. Abe was a total fiat? How do we even cover up for him? I will go to Yaoundé myself. Shut up, woman. Get inside. Before I send him back in back to the Finasa. She would have even died in the accident. Say, I can say, that is not a big deal. Oh, one of these days, God might actually answer your prayer. Do you know that? Because if any part of her body is deformed, I will make sure I deform that same part of your body. my imagination that you of all people will want to kill me for nothing. Kill you? Why would I want to kill my guy? Baby, please. I'm sorry. It was the devil's work. That was just a small accident. Please forgive me. Oh, it was a, it was a small accident. Myron, you used your shoe, I don't know if it's a shoe or a weapon to, to, to knock my head. For Christ's sake, I, I would have died. I could even sue you for attempted murder. Come on, why would you want to sue your sweetheart? Baby, you know I love you so much. I'm sorry. That was the devil's handbook. Oh, no, Mara, don't bring the devil into this. Every time you do these terrible things, you just carry it and blame it on the devil. Is it the devil who took his hands and, and then hit my head? He's the one who influenced me to do that. Oh. Anyway, baby, please, I'm really sorry. Just find a place in your heart to forgive me. It will never happen again. Never. Hi, Lydia. What are you doing here again, Roy? Go down, girl. I come in peace. I mean no harm. You've come to see if I'm on the other side, right? I'm oh, sorry to disappoint you. I'm getting stronger and stronger by the day. Hey, take it easy. I've only come to see how you're faring. I remember you're still on the sick bed. You need to get yourself all worked up. You're such a fool, Roy. I almost died because of you. And you stand here to baby me. Shit happens, all right? Such is life. Up, down, you win some, you lose some. Let's just pretend nothing happened and get back on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just what I wanted to hear. You know I can't live without you, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's my baby girl. I always knew you were going to be reasonable. My dear, calm down. Lovett is getting better. I will send you out of hospital. I should calm down. What if my daughter had died? Thank God she didn't die. Stop raising tension where there's no tension. Shut up, woman. Be quiet if you have nothing important to say. What do you mean, tension? I'm sorry. I'm just saying we should concentrate on our daughter getting better. 
instead of raising already settled dust. Please. How can the daughter of Mr. Bile be pushed to the wall up to the point where she attempts to commit suicide? Incredible. If I get my hands on that leaf I will squeeze the life out of him. Is it my fault that I'm poor? We both know that I've done everything possible to upgrade my financial situation. The fact that I'm poor today does not mean I'll be poor forever because I know deep in my heart that I have a great future. And as long as my God is alive, I'll achieve it. Okay? Just leave all these financial stuff for now. All I want is your pardon. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I promise it will never happen again. Thanks for a good girl. Okay. Jesus is Lord, so I'll forgive you. Oh. But I don't want this to ever, ever happen again, Maya. Never. It's never going to happen again. Never. Okay, stand up, stand up. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. So, Thank so, you so okay, much. It's okay. Don't do that again. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I want right now, baby? No, you tell me. I just want you to take me to the room and make me feel like a baby. <laughs> like you've never done before. Really? Yeah. Let's get inside. Let's get inside. Okay. You know what, right? Get out. I don't want to ever see your ugly face again. Never. Get out. What's the meaning of this? I'm going nowhere. You are still my baby girl. Right. Get out right now. Get out, Roy! Get out! Nurse, take this stupid fool out of this room right now. And I don't want to ever see him again. Just get him out. Please, can you leave? You are disturbing my patient right now. Just leave me the gentleman and leave. Daddy, Breeze knows the guy very well. Shut them out of yours. Did you say Breeze knows him? Yes, Daddy. Get him for me. Okay, Daddy. And you, what are you still doing here? Are you not going to the hospital anymore? <laughs> That you, you called. Yes, my boy. And it says you know the monster who almost sent your kid sister to an early grave. Is that true? Yes, I know him. Get him for me. Okay. Right now? Get him for me now. Go. Steady, please. I'll be right back. This one was shown to me by one of my guys. I'm sick of it. How is your guy, Frankie? Mm -hmm. We are just there. We made up after that nasty incident. Marion, you guys made up just like that. Marion, I don't understand you. What is this guy giving you? Oh, is it that good? Listen, you can't understand. In as much as I don't love his financial situation, I have never despised that guy. I love him. <laughs> you love him? And you nearly broke the guy's head the other day. Oh, that was an accident. Anyway, keep dreaming. One of these days, you will dream with your eyes wide open. I am leaving. Mom! The So you come here as well? 
you know, guys like us in these places of Italy, but you know. True. Anyway, excuse my manners. My friend Marion, Marion. Speaking, really. Of course. I dumped him. Listen, I am Lizette Depier, and that means I can get any man I want. Look, that was a guy I was virtually taking care of. I was clothing him and doing everything for him. Of course, you didn't know me. I couldn't stoop that low. You know what? Um, I'm with my friends right now. Let's say I call you later, okay? Okay, then. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, I am here enjoying myself while some people are in the hospital. They can die for all I care. Lizzie, don't you think you are being too hard on Lovett's situation? No, I don't think so. Lovett married everything that has befallen her. She likes overshowing herself. Jealousy, book. It's no jealousy, my dear. I'm only trying to be realistic here. Yeah? Did I ask her to drink and drive? Like they say, if you drink, you don't drive. And if you drive, you don't drink. What's going on? Mm. I was passing by to get some ice cream for my sister's kid and I'm heading to her place. Yeah, Mas, you know you're not nice. You just abandoned your first life for so long, just disappeared. No news. I don't know, I'm not going I was in Paris, London, Stockholm, uh, yeah. and I just got back to the country. Um, anyway, let me get out of here, okay? This is uh, You're going to pass us a good part. Okay. Bye, Mario. Vicky, since your friend is too much old. 50,000 francs for lunch. You don't even know that man. He's so magnanimous. Anyways, this is your opportunity. Grab that guy and forget about this, your poverty shipping card. Now I should do what? Mm -hmm. what, if, what if what? Stop what if me. Let me tell you, you must date this guy. Come rain, come shine. I'm telling you, they work, they work. Anyway. I'll give you only in the house. Madam Frankie, what if, what if? My dear friends, Lovett will soon be sitting on a wheelchair. And that's going to give me so much joy because Lovett is nothing but a brat. So Lovett will soon be a cripple. Mm -hmm. This world is a strange place. We really can solve the chemistry of this world. The light has broken the line. Let's see how she's going to be swimming and partying again. Let's enjoy a drink girl. What was my money in her predicament? Life must continue. Now Everything you're talking, her. my dear. You're talking. <laughs> I thought you were going local or something. Louisa, for that statement, you deserve another round. Now I know you are not going mad or about to go mad. Excuse me. Hello? What? Look, I told you it's over. Yes, over. And please never call me again. Please, let's 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 continue. Yeah, pity. So that's how it happened. <sighs> She wanted to kill you. I never even bought her to in front of us. Very afraid. That's small. Hmm? Besides, it was just a little incident. That's why I don't want to tell mama and papa. You know how it is with them. You know, you tell them this kind of thing. The next thing, they're moving hell to skeleton for nothing. You call them small incident. Look, last year a man died in Boy after being knocked on the head with his shoe by the wife. Huh. Now you savvy. So, where is she now? Hope you're done with her. Oh, no, I'm not. We had a problem. We made up and we're moving ahead. Remember what the Bible says. Learn to forgive, right? Come on. Not in this case. Forget the Bible, bros. I mean, how can you make up with them anything? 
what has that useless of a thing you call girl given you? Oh. Hope she's not jammed you. Mm-hmm. No, she's not jammed me. I think what we have is love. <laughs> I love Marion and Marion loves me right back. That's it. Love. She loves you. Mm-hmm. You love her. Yet she nearly killed you. Okay. No problem. All this thing, love is sweet all the time, even it? Alright, that brings me to something, Carl. I don't want Mama or Papa to ever hear about this incident. Did I just make myself crystal clear? Yes, sir. It don't enter my brain. Perfect. I will keep the loop. Okay. Oh, no problem. Before I forget, uh, I'll take you through this cash to use money to pay for Take now. What's your name, young man? My name is Roy Annie Zeth. Roy Annie, do you know me? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Yes, no. Well, I am Mr. Bile, Lovett's father. The young lady almost sent to an early grave. I'm sorry, sir. Since you failed to kill my daughter, I will not fail in sending you to her. Please, don't kill me. Don't kill me, sir. Shut up. Hmm? What were you thinking, you fool? Nothing, sir. Thank you, sir. Don't you know that not every shoe can size your feet? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I ever see you, or hear that you were seen anywhere around my daughter again. Only God knows what I'll do to you. Thank you, sir. Get this piece of shit out of my sight. So why did you decide to hurt us because of that useless rascal? Somebody who is not even worthy of a single tear from your eyes. Roy, my friend. I don't like the manner in which you have been treating that girl. Robert loves you so, but yet you treat her like a piece of rock. As for me, I just want to sell some shoes, you know, make some money and uh, give to Marion. 